Happy Friday, Trade Hackers, February 19th. Uh, another positive green day, plus 925 on the day for the week, plus 2513, so 2513. Let's go over the trades for today, then I'll come back and recap the week. So three Mighty 90 trades today, two of which were winners. The only loser was a small scratch in Twitter. Uh, MU plus 80, Disney plus 161. Kept my position size really small today. Uh, for whatever reason, just wasn't feeling, just wasn't feeling the flow of getting big. So I uh, kept my stuff small, but still booked 925. So that's always a good thing. On the runners, uh, three winners, one loser. AMD for 141, Riot for 290, Twitter small loser for minus 88, and Win minus 381. So my only loser today was in Twitter. Both a small loser on the runner and a small loser on the mighty 90. So. Good stuff there. Let's go over these trades, and then I'll come back and recap the week. Uh, let's start with the Mighty 90s and Disney. So Disney had this uh, initially started out strong and then had this little flush lower. Whoops. Let me expand this for you. Started off strong, had this little flush lower and nice volume spike here. So we got long right in this area here. Took a little bit of heat, and then boom, it popped up. And close that out for 161. I actually, I was paying t attention to another trade. I was trying, and I, I wanted to get out right at the close of this bar, uh, or shortly after. And then this thing just fell apart. So I didn't, I didn't get out until about down here. So booked a booked less profit, got a terrible fill, but still booked a green trade anyway. So plus uh, 161 uh, in MU plus 80. This was a uh, uh, a little. Uh, it bounced up, broke through the highs of the day, a little bit higher volume, not much. We got short right here. Uh, when it came down, I I just closed it out. I didn't even wait till the end of the second bar. Reason being is MU was right under its all-time highs, and I was a little bit uh, skeptical that it wasn't just going to pull back and then rip higher on me. And so I didn't want to get caught in something like that. A lot of times when these stocks are kind of hovering the, under all-time highs, it's kind of like a magnet. They just want to bust through and, and take off. And so Ended up just closing that out for a small winner of 80. And then in Twitter, Twitter was a, uh, a little bit interesting today. We were talking about this in the, uh, in the live stream. You know, so what happened here is initially uh, Twitter was pushing, 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 got a nice volume spike here and, and started to take a short right in this area here. And then on the uh, couple bars later, excuse me, I got short right here. And then uh, the next bar had another massive volume spike higher than the first. And so uh, I actually, when, when this pulled back, I basically just got out of my uh, Mighty 90 Twitter for minus 40 bucks, basically a scratch uh, with that ma massive volume spike. I was looking for a potential continuation to the upside. And, but then we got another massive volume bar on the way down. And so this is something that doesn't usually happen. Usually if something's pushing in one direction, you get that massive volume, you might get a little pullback and then it rips higher. But in this case, got big volume on the way up and then big volume on the way down. And so instead of adding, I, you know, normally in this situation, it would have come down. I would have potentially added right here, but I didn't just held my original position. And so when it pushed up here and then started chopping around, I just got out took a tiny loss on the mighty 90 and then a tiny loss on the upside runner. Uh, so minus 128 total on Twitter between the two. Next trade on to the runners, uh, AMD had a nice runner in AMD, uh, where we, uh, you know, just, it was kind of chopping around, kind of pushed lower, uh, tried to go negative on the day a couple times and then bounced up near the highs of the day, consolidating over yesterday's high. We got long right here and then caught this up move there for plus 141. Riot plus 290 hit some massive volume bars in the beginning. Uh, on this pullback here, we got long. The Tastyworks platform was acting up, and so I was shutting my platform down, trying to get in, and uh, it was a little hairy at the beginning, but still got filled and caught this move here. Then when the price pulled back, I jumped back in and caught another move higher. So ended up closing out right, uh, I think right here is where I shed my last contract. So booked 290 in Riot. And then lastly, win. Win was actually my biggest winner for 381. Uh, in win, we had this uh, big volume spike higher than the first bar here. Waited for this pullback back to yesterday's high, and then whoosh, shot right up. Closed out. I just closed all my positions out right here at this pivot, 
and uh, which ended up being a pretty good close. Had a, had a little more meat on the bone, but ended up kind of falling off after that. So nice winner for uh, win for 381. So those are all the trades for the day, plus 925 on the day. Let's take a look at the week. Uh, so on the Mighty 90 side, plus 1664, green every day this week. Remember, Monday was closed for President's Day. Uh, red Tuesday, red Wednesday, red Thursday, and red Friday on the Mighty 90s. And then on the, didn't take any pairs trades this week. On the runners, total PL plus 849. Uh, had a red day on Tuesday on the runners. Nice bounce back uh, with just one trade in Zoom. Uh, green day on Wednesday. And then Thursday, slightly red. And then t- today, nice, uh, nice day. So uh, what's interesting in here is so these two positions here, Zoom and Roku. These are positions that I that I went a little bit bigger in and they just happen to be the losers. So that's part of trading. You know, sometimes you think you have confidence in a trade and it works against you. So those ended up being my biggest losers uh, and they were my biggest position sizes. So that's the way it works sometimes. But if we look at the summary for the week, so 1664 on the mighty 90s, nice winning percentage plus 81.8%. Only had two losing mighty 90s this week out of 11. Uh, and then on the runners, plus 849 with a nice winning percentage over 60% there. Total profit for the week, 2,513, pushing our uh, total profits going back to the end of August till up over 47,000. So continuing to do well. Look forward to next week. We'll be streaming every day next week live. Uh, look forward to seeing you then. Have a good weekend. Cheers.